In this video, we're gonna create this login form with the glowing button and small animations like this. Let's get into it. So I already have my folder set up. Just create a new folder, open it up in VS Code, create an index.html, style.css, and let's link that inside. Let's also say login form. And you also need this extension called live server to be able to right click on this HTML file and open it up on the web browser like this. And let's get into it. So let's start by login box div. I'm gonna say h2 login and let's create the form submit. And we're gonna create another box for user box, let's say input required and label username and we're gonna create another one for password, let's say input password required and label password and let's create the buttons so the way we're gonna create these buttons are not usual. I'm gonna put a couple of spans inside and we're gonna say submit. So I have a video about this gloving button effect and if you wanna watch it, you can click on the card. And for now, that's it with the HTML. Looks like this. Let's style it. Let's say HTML height 100% and body, margin zero, padding zero, font, poppins. And for the background, not background color, but background, I have my linear gradient here, so I'm just gonna copy paste it. And dot login box is going to be position absolute, top 50%, left, 50% width is going to be 400 let's give it a padding of 40 pixels and transform translate minus 50% and minus 50% and we're gonna make that background a little transparent by saying 0.05 box size and border box and box shadow is also going to be like this but just a little less transparent and border 10 pixel border radius 2 em and now let me see yeah the login box h2 Let's say margin 0, 0, 30 pixels, padding 0, color white, and text align center. And the user box also, let's make it position relative, and the input is going to be with 100%, padding 10 pixels 0, font size 16 pixels, color white, margin bottom, let's give it a bit of a space, border none, and border bottom is going to be one pixel solid white, outline none and what else other oh, background color is going to be transparent now it's start to look better Let's say user box label is going to be position absolute top zero left zero padding 10 pixel zero 
at the font size 16 pixels color white also and pointer events none and we're gonna give it a transition of 0.5 for that animation and what are we gonna do now is we're gonna select those inputs say focus and label and also gonna change the styling when it's valid by saying top 20 pixels left zero color is going to be let me see yeah and font size is going to be 12 pixels so when we click on this input boxes those are gonna change and what else on the anchor tags let's also style that anchor tag say position relative display inline block and padding 10 pixel 20 pixel color is going to be the same blue and font size 16 pixels let's give it a border radius as well 25 text decoration none let's also make it uppercase overflow hidden and we also gonna make it a bit slow and we also gonna give it a transform of 0.5 margin margin top is going to be 40 pixels and letter spacing 4 pixel yeah it looks good and finally you're gonna add the hover effect so background color same blue white border 5 pixel and by adding those a couple of box shadows we're gonna create that reflection effect let's make it 25 pixels and oops and say 0, zero 50 and I think 200 is going to be too much so let's say 100 and that should do it and also and I think that should do it yeah there you go okay so there is something little missing so when you click on those inputs there is no animation so we're gonna take a look at that I think yeah transform this is going to be transition and yeah there you go glowing effect works animations work as well and that is how you create a login form thank you guys for watching and see you next time